Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to put the USS James T. Kirk against the Romulan Comorant Refit. Now I'd never actually heard of this Romulan ship before, but I've seen what it can do and it's pretty powerful. The James T. Kirk is from the very end of the motion picture era, sort of in between motion picture and next generation, right in the middle, or the X era. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. So the James T. Kirk would absolutely wipe the floor with the Excelsior class and the Enterprise B. But this Romulan ship is pretty powerful. Oh man, look at all those torpedoes! Gosh. I'm hoping a ship that's named after the great James C. Kirk will put up a good fight. Uh, my torpedoes are missing, but theirs are not. So we still have the um, motion picture era torpedoes. Oh boy, am I glad they changed them by the time we came around to the TNG era. Although, the less said about Starship Generations, the better, as we all know the real reason why they use slow torpedoes in that. Crikey. Oh! We hit them whilst they were cloaking. This is good. We've hit their impulse engines. Critical hit. Oh, if only we could stop those. Hey, look at that! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Turn, turn, turn. You come near me, Romulan. I'm going to target your impulse engines again. Yeah, you stay over there. Oh gosh. The hull is at 50% ish. We got some major damage there. And when I say major, I mean major. Look at that. Flippin' heck. How can a ship fire that many torpedoes? Crazy Romuland. Fine. Torpedoes, full spread. Funnily enough, my forward shield is at its strongest right now. Oh yes, there we go. Whew. Gosh. Okay, here we go in the crazy Romulan ship. This is a very, very powerful ship. I almost wonder if it's a early the Derrick's class warbird, perhaps? The Derrick's class warbird, should I say? There's three D's in that name. Look at that, we've got aft disruptors and aft plasma torpedoes. And I think we've got greater maneuverability as well. Oh, that's just insane. Oh, no. Is that saucer? Yep, saucer separation. There we go. <laughs> what? Oh, that's crazy. Do you know, that normally never happens. Normally, it's the other way around, isn't it? So where's the saucer going? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Has the bridge kind of been like, ah, just leave the star drive behind, we'll escape. Let them take all the damage. A distraction technique. That is crazy. It could be some elaborate plan though. I mean, it is the USS James C. Kirk. Oh, still absorbing that damage. Oh, there we go. Enemy ship has been Where did that saucer go? I've lost the saucer, but I've still got the teacup. No comparison there, I'm afraid. The Romulan vessel is more powerful. It's that torpedo volley. You just can't compete with that type of firepower. It's insane. I mean, look what happened. It split the ship in half. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.